Hello and welcome to episode 8 of Neverwinter Nights Adventure Series number 5, Against the Cult of the Reptile God. We're here in the Grain Inn. We've just been attacked and we talked to Kazak or Hakan. And uh, we have to find out who attacked us and what's going on. So, I heard there's a bug. Uh, the author told me there's a bug in this city that if you snoop around too much and get arrested, the. Okay, meanwhile, in the cellars of the Golden Grain Inn. You incompetent fools! How could she have killed all three of them? She was obviously more capable than we'd expected, anticipated, Derek. So, why weren't you there to keep an eye on things, Dog Root? You're supposed to call me if there's any trouble. I'd have made sure the runt didn't escape. Um, I stayed back in the secret room. I wasn't feeling too good, Mr. Desley, sir. <laughs> you were drunk, weren't you? Idiot. I've warned you about that before, dog root. If I ever see you drink another drop of beer, I'll gut you like a fish. She's sure to return, maybe with others. You imbeciles can stay here to deal with her when she does. And I'll go see just what this newcomer's up to. The Golden Grain Inn. Alright, so let me pause it. So there's a bug that if you snoop around too much and you get arrested by the... Um, uh, sheriff he'll take your weapons and they're supposed to appear on a weapon rack accounts I guess I'll take this um, and they don't appear on the weapons rack because of the EE so that was fixed for a future um, build of this game that I don't have right now so these are the year's business accounts for the Golden Grain Inn. It is noticeable that entries stopped being entered in these ledgers over six months ago. So we've just got to save often and then stash our weapons before we get arrested. Can I go into the basement? Okay, and I have to exit some other programs to uh, make this run a bit smoother. One second. Alright, and we're back. So let's head out here. So, we've got an open adventure ahead of us. Khan, a Hokach mercenary, told me that his merchant master Fallon has disappeared. The pair of them arrived in a lane after surviving a humanoid ambush in the dim forest and stayed overnight in separate rooms at the Golden Grain Inn. However, when Hakan awoke, there was no sign of his employer. After my experience in the upstairs room of the inn, I fear the worst for Fallon, but I'll try to discover his fate. Okay, so actually, let me go back in there and see if I can poke around his room. See if there's any trace of him. Uh -huh. There's a trapped chest. I'll take the damage. Ouch. Old trap. It's locked. Oh, we can't. 
can't bash it. Oh, yes, we can. Slowly but surely. We'll see what's in here. There we are. That works for me. Usually I'm not strong enough to bash things. Okay, so just a potion of cure moderate. Potion of lore and 17 gold. Nothing too important. My greetings. I'll let you know if I find him. Right. So I don't want to be walking around badly wounded, so let's eat some sun drops. So this is Orlain, where the adventure in the pen and paper version actually starts. So Rich, the author, actually um, did some exposition on where it says in the pen and paper that it starts in Hokotch and the Dim Forest, but there's not actually content in the pen and paper for those areas, and he fleshed those out, so that's pretty cool. Okay, the tailor. We spoke with the tailor. Let's head into town here. Hello to you. What's so important that you disturb a farmer at work? It's good to see someone hard at work. Not many of your neighbors seem to share your confidence to be outside. These crops won't harvest themselves. We've lost too many farms already this year. If I don't deliver this lot to the miller, we will be struggling to feed ourselves, let alone meet the orders from the towns. Now I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. I really haven't the time to talk further. I'm searching for a missing friend. Does the name Iggy Oliveira mean anything to you? Can't say I have, but there's plenty who have gone missing lately. No, I've said enough. Talking to strangers isn't best advised. Sorry, I have nothing more to say. Now, Maisie, don't you be eating Daddy's corn. Greetings. Greetings. If you want grain, I'm afraid you've, you've had a wasted journey. There's barely enough to feed the village. Never mind meet my usual orders from Hokotch. That's all right. I don't want any grain, but I was hoping to talk to you. Conversation has been in short supply lately, so go ahead. Why are your grain stocks so low? Many farmers have left the village and the surrounding farms over the past year, so fewer crops have been grown and even less have been harvested. If things carry on like this, there won't be enough food to go around. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes, perhaps there is. I asked a merchant in Hook Hill to send a few wagon loads of grain to top up stock sufficiently to see the village through the year. However, they are already a few days late and, have been, and there have been problems on the trade routes lately. I'm starting to fear the worst. If you're heading out east and happen to see them, I'd be grateful if you could direct them here as a matter of urgency, or, if the worst had happened, inform me of their fate. Very well, could we talk about something else? Is there anything unusual happening in the village? Well, it's strange that so many farmers have left the area over the last year. This is prime farming land, none better for miles around. Yet some of the best farms in the area have just been left to rot, the occupants gone without a word of explanation. Have you heard of a merchant called... Iggy Olivero. Nope, can't say that I have. Thanks. It's off for now. Hello. Y yes, madam. My my father's only over there, you know. Don't worry, I just wanted to talk with you a while. What about? What are you doing out here? Washing the clothes. Ma says we've all got a bit extra at the moment. With all the funny going on. With all the funny goings on. What does she mean by that? I'm not sure. A few people have gone missing and a few others have been acting strangely. Pa says I've got to be extra careful when I'm out here. I see. 
Have you seen anything strange around the village lately? Um, no, madam. There's no need to be afraid, Leone. I only want to help. If you've seen anything out of the ordinary, please tell me. It might be important. Well, I rose early one day last week, and it was such a lovely morning I went to the stream to bathe. As I was lying there, I heard a splashing coming from downstream. Go on. With all the talk of people going missing, I was scared and hid amongst the bulrushes. After a while, everything went quiet and I risked peeking out. A few hundred feet downstream, I saw a huge lizard crawling onto the bank. That was scary enough, only when it was out of the water, it stood up. A lizard walking like a man. Bet you've never seen anything like that before. It looked around sniffing the air and I felt sure it had caught my scent, but after a while it walked away. Where did it go? I couldn't see exactly. One second it was standing by the old foaming mug in, and then poof, it vanished right before my eyes. Thanks, Leone, that is most interesting. Okay, so let me make a note of this. The old foaming mug in. Okay. Sign is overgrown with weeds and the paint is peeling. You can barely discern the words of the foaming mud. <laughs> no, you're smelly, Ardugal. No, I'm not. You eat worms. Stranger, stranger. Run for it! What do you think you're doing trespassing on my land and scaring my boys? I'll tell you what I told them, spindle outs. Get off my land! Next time, I'll be aiming for you. <laughs> this is awesome. I dare not go in. Here's the foaming mug. This door has been boarded shut. I don't know if we could bash it open. Look over here. What? Footprints? Tracks. Bipedal tracks lead from the river but stop short of the wall. There's a secret door. And what is this right here? Oh, fish bones. Alright. Let's see what's in the secret door. Bunch of dead bodies. Here, Dougie. The 
did the Trogs kill all those people? I couldn't see that happening. And a Trollodite Spear. This cruelly barbed spear is favored by Troglodytes for the severe wounds it can inflict upon their prey. It's just a regular spear. Ten gold and a stone axe. Hmm, nothing to answer our questions. Corpse. Aha, Ruben's note. If I don't escape from this, may Merica guide someone to this note so that the truth is known. I was in the cellar fetching a barrel when I heard the most terrible commotion upstairs. I poked my head up to see clerics from the temple and reptilian warriors attacking our patrons. They were begging for mercy, but none was shown. The few who survived the initial onslaught have been dragged away to who knows what awful fate. I cannot comprehend it. Priests of Merica murdering innocent villagers? What is happening to Orlane? I ran back down here to hide. There was nothing I could have done. I can only pray they don't come down here once they've finished upstairs. And they did. Interesting. I guess that does it for this place. Ah. Bones. Copper ring. An assassin? Oh no. I haven't saved. locked by the assassin. Dang it, be on your toes at all times, fluent. very skilled with a mace and I need Dougie with me oh now I'm over encumbered
right, so let's heal up before we head back upstairs. Um, to your moderate wounds. He tried to execute us back. Oh, he did execute a sneak attack. Handle Dougie for now. Alright, cool. Serious. Okay. Oh, you got him. Skeleton key. Giant bee venom average. A dagger. Unidentified armor. This is way too much. I can't and assassin's this. instructions. Certain people are getting a little too interested in our activities, and the newcomer makes me uneasy. Follow her, and if she starts delving into things, she shouldn't kill her. I've also told the priests to send out their special assassin to take care of our beloved mayor, Derek Desley. Okay, so I've got to do some dropping here. Drop the troglodyte spear. And the stone axe. We've got to save the bear. I better warn the mayor as soon as possible. store. I guess it wouldn't hurt to make a trip to the general store first over here. Hello there. Don't believe I've had the pleasure. I'm Tobias Finn, the owner of this place. What brings you to our quiet village? Hello, I'm Karini. I'm just passing through and wanted to stock up on a few items. You've come to the right place then, and if you need somewhere to stay while you're in our lane, you should take advantage of the hospitality hospitality on offer at the Golden Grain Inn on the west side of the village. I've already sampled their hospitality and I don't think I'll be returning, thanks. How may I be of service? What's happening in Orlane? Things seem a little strange here. Strange? Hardly. We're a quiet little farming village that's a convenient stopover for merchants, nothing more. I, I suppose you've been listening to the traveler's tales, seven-headed lizards coming from the swamp to eat us and the like. Huh. Well, if I happen to see one, I'll be sure to let you know. I'm investigating the disappearance of a merchant called Iggy Olivero. Have you heard of him? Can't say I have, but a lot of merchants pass through these parts. I can't be expected to remember all of their names. I see your goods. Alright, so we've got a Ring of the Dawn. Light normal. We don't need light because... believe one of these items has light. Shield of the Sun. Yes, has 10 meter light. This is 20 meter. Um, well, we'll hang on to that. Let's get this dagger identified. Huh, he doesn't identify either. Copper ring for 2 GP. Cat's Grace? No. It's a 
So we'll sell it for 21. Iron guts, sell. Cow traps. A grenade like, they can be thrown to cover a small area of effect. For every round a person is standing on the field of cow traps, they take one point of damage up to a total of 25 damage. We'll hang on to those. Um, cantaloupe for two, scythe for three, man you don't offer very good prices, can't get this potion identified, book of the divine, it's invisible. Oh. Whatever. Um. Can't get any of this identified? No. Let me try drinking a lore potion. Oh, I sold the lore potion. Oops. All the two ales. Some of these potions in there. Only got four hundred twenty one gold. Aha. So we've got the tunic. Iron rings or steel rings to create something. Steel plated armor. Let's try iron rings. And if I mix the iron rings with that, there's no armor or anything. Okay. Hello there. Your prices do seem a little high. What's up with that? Hello there. I'm sure, madam, we'll find them the most competitive in the village, and you are of course free to trade elsewhere, should you wish. I see. You didn't get very good prices for what I was offering. I guess I need something steel. Okay, his prices are outrageous. I should have never dealt with him. Alright, what say you? Can't you see I'm busy? Speak to my husband if you've come to trade. Well, it's not going to be an easy, easy run here. Spindles farm. We'll come back to Spindles farm, but I want to find the mayor ASAP. Mayor Zacharias Ormond. Well met. An unexpected visitor is an ill omen in these dark times. Why do you presume an audience with Mayor Zacharias Ormond? I've come to our lane to search for my master, Iggy Olivero. Have you heard of him? Or can you tell me anything that might help me to find him? I haven't heard of him, I'm afraid. No doubt he's another innocent loss to this... This... This what? This... No. I have said enough. I do not wish to cast doubt upon your character, but your motives are unknown to me. These are dangerous times, and I must be careful in whom I place my trust. 
Mayor Zacharias, an attempt is to be made on your life. I found a note which says that an assassin has been sent to kill you. Are you sure? This all sounds a little far-fetched. Let me see this note. Look out! Something's at the door! I gasped. Turn on dead. I guess. Got him. Told you. Well you have my gratitude for a most timely intervention, Karini. These are dark days indeed. I think you better tell me exactly what is happening to Orlane. Very well, I will confide in you, Karini. An evil cult is enveloping Orlane, and this once peaceful village is now a place where one does not even feel safe in one's own home. Many villagers have disappeared over the past year, usually in the dead of night. Not all return, but those who do always seem different somehow. I suspect they are taken away to be converted to the cult's teachings, and returned only when they have been successfully indoctrinated. The village is being taken from me soul by soul, and if the cult is not repelled soon, Orlane will sink beneath this tide of evil. I am sure that the blacksmith and the Finla family at the general store are already working for the court, cult, and I fear that the clergy of the Temple of America have also found prey fallen prey to this insidious menace. Nope. Blacksmith Finla family at Gen store already working for Colt Temple of America Two. However, I've already invited two of my former adventuring associates to our lane to help root out this evil. Their names are Dorian and Lil Willen, Lil Willen, and they're staying at Hollyhock Cottage. I suggest you talk to them. Sharing information could be beneficial. Tell them I sent you. No, wait, they will be suspicious of a stranger. Stranger, tell them that troll color cutter sent you. Very well. I will discuss this further with them. Um. Well met. Hello. Hollyhock call it uh cottage. Okay, Travis. Well met. Still got my eyes on you, even if his worship thinks you're the dog's what's its. Cornfield has been neglected. The corn is overripe and beginning to rot, and a scarecrow is attacking me. Come, Dougie. Ouch. I don't think I can do this on my own. Good buddy. Of 
cold night time here. It's Hollyhock? No, it's just the Taylor. Hello? Greetings. Who? Who are you? Um, oh yes, I'm Hammond. Who are you? Pleased to meet you, Hammond. I'm Karini Kovaleski. Well, it's been good talking to you, Karini. Hang on, there was something I wanted to ask you. Your cornfield is overripe and needs harvesting now if you are to salvage the crop. Corn? Yes, the corn in the field. It is yours, I presume. Oh yes, the corn. Those were the days, eh? Who is the lady I've heard you talking about? She sounds very pretty. Yes, she is so beautiful. I'm honored to be favored by her. Who? What do you mean? You do not know? You have not gazed into her eyes? Then, then you must see for yourself. Sorry, I bothered you. Eyes like emeralds and skin to match. No, no, please don't. No. Where am I? Oh, yes. Greetings. Are you all right? You seem to be suffering the occasional fit. What do you mean? Uh, you screamed no and seemed a little disoriented. I did no such thing. Stop pestering me or I'll call the constable. Sorry to bother you. No, no, please don't. No! Well, where am I? Oh, yes. She's so beautiful. Who's the lady I've heard you talking about? Hmm. I feel there's more here that meets the eye. happen if I tried to pickpocket him. Greetings. Sorry, sorry to have bothered you. if I should have stayed a little bit longer and observed him more. Holy Hawk Cottage. Alright, I'm going to save right here. And say thanks for watching. Had a very fun episode 8. Um... Next time, we'll talk to Lil Willen and see what they have to say. So, thanks for watching, stay tuned, and much love. Peace out.